Hi everyone! So today I thought I would uh, go for something a little bit different. I always have the same process, the same materials. Uh, so I thought that I would try out uh, different mediums, different pouring mediums. I've always tried, uh, always used GAC 800. It's been my favorite uh, since the start. I started using it, loved it didn't use anything else. So today I'm going to try this year, Pouring Plus, medium, uh, yeah, it's in uh, German, I think. So all the instructions are also in German, but I think that's what I'm, that what I'm going to do is just um, try it as I usually use the GAC 800 and see the result and maybe then adjust from there. I'll probably make a, well I will make other videos uh, of comparison because I ordered uh, other mediums as well and uh, yeah. So let's get started with this. I'll show you the mixing of the paint. Uh, I'll try to speed it up, make it quick uh, so we get to the painting as soon as possible. Alright so the colors I'm using today are Paints gray. Pearl. Pink tulip. Tulip. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Pearl canary yellow. This is the metallic yellow I was kind of excited to try. And it's really yellow, it's not gold. Interesting. And pearl, papaya orange. That one too I was quite excited to try. Add the rest of my medium. I'm gonna go for about three part paints to seven part medium here. So 30% paint to uh, yeah, 30% paint to 70% medium. So the one thing I can tell right away is that the medium is thicker than GAC 800, it's stringier and it has a much stronger smell. So I have a feeling that that medium works much better with fluid acrylics. Alright, so got my mixes done. Um, they're a little thicker than usual, uh, but I did not want to add more water to it, so I do not underbind my acrylics. 
and um, yeah I added full 25% water uh, the medium is uh, thicker than the GEC 800 and it smells <laughs> the smell is what's getting to me honestly so uh, but other than that we'll see how it does on the canvas all right so I've realized uh, that I've mixed too much paint for only one painting, so I'm going to paint two. And I'm going to use my two favorite techniques. One is going to be a swipe, and the other one is going to be a flip cup. So that's it. I'm not looking exactly for cells, though. Um, I'm going to swipe the orange, yellow, and red into the black. Uh, kind of look like a warm metallic sheen going into uh, the well it's not black it's Payne's gray and I picked Payne's gray because it's a, a gray blue but it's very very dark and but since it's a gray blue it's going to contrast nicely with the warm colors so let's get started with this I feel like there's something odd going on here. <laughs> I don't know, I shouldn't have cells, not that much anyway. Just dabbing to cover the canvas here. But yeah, I still like it, and uh, that should dry uh, to a real nice uh, metallic finish, and I'd be quite happy to see that. Trying to just to, to break the line a little bit, so we don't see too much of the where the black paint and the colors met. Anyway, let's go to the other painting, the flip cup. Alright, so for this one, I'll pour on all my metallic colors into the cup.
Yeah. I really feel like there's something going on here. And I don't feel like this is because my paints are mixed uh, thicker or anything like that. Um, would it be possible that it puts silicone right away in the medium? Because that's not the usual cells I get and they do not appear that fast usually. I do wonder though. Let me try something. Did it bump the bubbles? I don't have a torch, so the closest thing I have is the hair dryer since I usually don't use silicone. And I feel like uh, there is some in the medium. My painting is full of pits, it's really weird. Oh my god, what is that? It does look good, I guess. So, yeah, I'll have to try uh, this more to know. But for now, if I had enough of the smell, uh, I'm going to leave this to dry, open a window, and uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but um, with that being said, I'm really happy with the look of the painting. I'm not a fan of uh, that many cells, to be honest, but I still like it. Uh, I like the yellow line that goes cr across. Uh, I like the little spiky thing here, um, and yeah, uh, we'll see how it dries because uh, there's a lot of metallic paints in there with the paints gray, and um, they dried really shimmery and nice in my last painting, so I can't wait to see how they dry with this medium. Hopefully, it dries completely transparent. But I think there is silicon in that medium. Now that I'm looking at it. Anyway. Well, that will be my first painting with silicon. Maybe that was the spell. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this painting dries. And uh, I'm a happy painter. Quite like the other one too. Um, I quite like the other one too. Um, as I said, I did not want cells. <laughs> Little did I know, uh, I think the silicone, uh, well the medium has silicone, so it gave me a whole bunch of weird looking cells. And, well not weird, they're normal cells I guess. Uh, uh, anyway. <coughs> Can't wait to see how it dries once again. I think uh, the metallic paints going into the paints gray are going to look really cool, really nice. Uh, they're going to dry darker as well, much darker uh, on that part where it's on the paints gray. Um, and yeah, uh, can't wait to see how this dries. The photos, uh, photos, oh, pictures will be in the outro and yeah, that's it.